Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter e-store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to replace an ASO or automatic shutoff valve in a reverse osmosis system. These are super universal and uh, this is the Gold Line 50 system obviously, but it's, it'll apply to all different kinds of reverse osmosis systems. So first of all, why would you have to replace this? Well, you may want to review one of my other videos entitled um, uh, reverse osmosis troubleshooting where we're talking about water continuously running to drain. One of the solutions is to replace this automatic shutoff valve. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the uh, reverse osmosis system for wherever it's mounted because it's a little bit fiddly to get in and, and out of there. Now to do that you're going to have to disconnect the um, quick connect fittings. Now you may want to review one of the other videos I have that shows uh, how to use quick connect fittings but basically how it works is you compress the collar on either side of the tubing as it goes into the fitting, push in the tubing and then pull it straight out to disconnect it. And to reconnect it, you just push it in and pull it back. Okay, so let's get started. So the ASO is typically on the back of the unit here, so it's, it's quite easily to, easy to access on a, a reverse osmosis system. Now, the thing you have to make very sure of is that you configure it exactly the same way as the old one was. There's four connections, so you could easily get it uh, turned around, but what you have to watch for, there's an in and an out labeled right on the automatic shutoff valve, but also one side is beveled and the other side is flat. So you need to configure it exactly the same as the one that you're replacing. So it's set up the same way. So now what you do is you should remove the fittings, the tubing from the fitting, one by one, and reconnect it in exactly the same configuration. So that's the in on the beveled side. And that goes underneath. And then this is the out on the bevel side. So again, we connect it to the out on the bevel side. And this other one goes underneath. Now if your tubing is different color than the one on this one, that makes no difference whatsoever. The color of the tubing has no bearing at all. It just needs to be configured exactly the same. And then that's it. Put that together, reconnect it, and you're good to go. So if you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos as they become available on this channel. And you can check out all the other videos with great information on there. If you'd like some more info, you can go to our websites, either www.thewaterfilteresTore.com or www.thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.